I'll show you how to animate the pattern pieces and create this animation, garment transforming into patterns. First, go to Clove 3D and open your project file. And then I would recommend go to UV maps and sort out all your UV maps because it will be useful for later. Just a quick disclaimer, I've seen this technique in Irena Blago's um, tutorial for style 3d and it worked for clove after cleaning up your uv maps you have to export your garment as an obj so go to file export obj and create your file name i named it garment full you can choose your own it doesn't really matter Pr click save for export obj settings deselect the avatar if you don't want to use the avatar if you have in your final animation select single object thick unified uv coordinates and the rest is as it should be in default then organize your patterns in 2d window i just quickly shuffle them around select them all and then click reset 2d arrangement or just click that on the side of the screen now you have to move them around how you would like them to be in your animation couple of tips i would suggest hide the threads because it makes it cleaner also you can turn on the grid in your 3d window it will help with the symmetry i would also recommend to keep the avatar just for the scale and the proportions make sure to not simulate the garment otherwise it will not work you can change the surface to make sure you can see where is the good side and the bad side of the fabric sometimes it helps a little tip also make sure the patterns that are closer to the body are closer to the body otherwise they might clash for example the trousers are closer than the top so it is in this layout it close it's closer as well uh, i would recommend to save this file as a project file just for the later animation process after you've done and saved your file you have to export this these patterns as an obj as well so the same process name your file name i just named it patterns save and then deselect the avatar single object all the same settings and export next step you need a brand new project file so delete everything and then go and import your first obj which was the full garment obj click Im import open and then as an avatar all the settings as they should be in the default if the textures are a bit weird turn on the 3d render preview and then they should look normal after that go and import the second obj file make sure it's add morph target for the frames you can select 90 it will be just a smoother animation after the pattern obj has been imported go to animation and you can see and check the movement of the patterns it looks amazing i, I really i'm really pleased with this after that uh, go to render put your cameras um, I just did two cameras one a closer 
preview and then the same one but just um, I just I just changed the uh, field of view to make sure all the patterns fit in the same frame image just double check if everything is fine make sure your you select animation in the property editor save video also um, I changed to 90 frames but I'm not sure if that actually changes anything so do not quote me on this you can change the background color and yeah um, remember where you saved your file as well that's important put your lighting settings I put the shadow for the ground as well because I think it looks much nicer and much more realistic set up all of your other render settings it rendered super quickly I think it was less than 18 minutes and voila that's the animation and now I will show you how to do the second part where the patterns just drop on the floor for this you'll need the same pattern project file I've asked you to save previously for this animation you have to delete all the sewing lines because otherwise your patterns will sew in the air and that's not the look you want so select all the patterns uh, with the sewing machine tool and delete them also delete all the pins everything all the um, elastic lines absolutely everything you just want as clean as possible also you can increase the particle distance to 20 to make sure the simulation is smoother i guess and they will not collide as much after that you can delete your avatar and go to animation and then just click record and the patterns will fall on the ground and the animation will be recorded it takes maybe between a minute or two um, it was fairly quick when it's finished go to render and pretty much do the same thing uh, you can add cameras you can change the movement on of the cameras 